welcome to Delightful, Delicious, to Lovely. My name is Christine Elise, and today I am going to be making a spicy Chinese green pepper beef. Um, I had a boyfriend a while back, a few years ago, who ate almost exclusively meat, and I haven't eaten meat since the 80s. Uh, he ate very few vegetables, and I ate no meat. We had almost no overlapping foods in common. Um, but he was a big, big fan of the Chinese green pepper beef from Chinese restaurants. Um, which, I mean, in Los Angeles, who goes to Chinese restaurants? It's all Thai, 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 Thai. Why would you go to a Chinese thing when you can go to Thai food? But he would eat it so often in front of me that it gave me a craving for it. So I decided to develop a recipe for it. Um, so a couple of years ago, uh, the meat that I used back then was beef strips that Trader Joe's used to carry. They don't seem to carry them anymore. They seem to still have their chicken ones, but not their beef ones. I like Beyond Meat Chicken, so I don't use the Trader Joe's chicken anymore either. But in the absence of the Trader Joe's meat, I'm going to be using these Gardein beefless tips. I toss them in cornstarch, and they're sitting there in cornstarch. I've got a hot pan now. I'm going to put, I don't know, I'm going to call it a tablespoon or two. Let's go, that was, oof, that was two, <laughs> two tablespoons of oil. I'm using sesame oil because I believe that if you're going to be using oil anyway, why not use one that tastes good? Sesame oil is such a yummy, yummy flavor. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to let that get hot first. And then I'm going to try to sear this, um, looks like powdered donuts, um, beef. So, um, 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 I'm sorry, between the sniffing and the umming, I don't know how anyone takes it. Um, I try to sear the outside a little bit so that they get more resilient against sauces and don't become soggy when they're in sauce. Let's see if this is hot enough. Not quite. Uh, I want it to be resilient in sauce. I don't want it to seem like it's just like dumplings in there rather than a piece of meat. The more, the drier the, the seal on the outside of it is, the more it will feel like it's meat when you're eating it. If you live in Los Angeles, I can give you an incredible tip. There's a Thai market on Hollywood Boulevard, a couple blocks away from east of Western, called Shilom Market, and they have a whole wall, like 40, maybe that's two, 40 feet? 10 cases of vegan meats. Some of them just plain like vegan chicken, vegan duck, vegan scallops, vegan pork, vegan, and it's like vegan lemon pepper beef, vegan orange chicken. So much, I can't even believe it. And I can't believe it took me so long to find it. It's not expensive and it's ridiculous. Shilom, I did a piece on my blog about it. I will put the link for that underneath here. This should be hot enough by now. Yeah. Let's drop these guys in there. Ooh, don't splash me. The cornstarch just popped, it just jumped out of the container into this bag. There's a ton of it in here, but that might be okay. I might use it later to thicken the sauce. So I've got a big bag of cornstarch here. I'm just gonna put aside. Wash my hands. Okay, I'm gonna stir these around. I'm going to let them rest undisturbed to brown a little bit in the pan. All right, these are not quite ready. I'm going to add a little bit of crushed red pepper to this. I'm a big fan of the crushed red pepper. This is a to taste thing. I'm going to put about a tablespoon in here. Um, and while this does its thing, ooh, that's a lot. That was really a lot. Um, while this does its thing, I'm going to give you another tip if you're in Los Angeles specifically though. Um, I know a lot of people think that being a vegan is unaffordable and, well, period, full stop, that being vegan is too expensive. There's an incredible chain of markets here called Super King that have, they don't, have, they don't carry organic material, I don't think, really ever. But not everything you buy, not all produce needs to be organic. And frankly, a lot of people can't afford to buy organic even if they were desperate to. So what a wonderland Super King is. Just to compare, excuse me, <coughs> um, <coughs> peppers. Um, if I was to buy kale, let's say, at the Gelson's at the bottom of my hill, it would be two fifty for one bunch of kale. At Super King, it's three bunches of kale for 99 cents. Two dollars for, or two or three dollars for some cilantro at Gelson's. Seven bunches of cilantro for one dollar at Super King. Incredible, incredible resource for inexpensive produce. 
and rice and beans and it's a I think it's a Middle Eastern run place. If you eat cheese, their cheese I know you're not ve vegans don't eat cheese, I understand, but not everybody watching this is necessarily vegan. Uh, their cheese counter is also ridiculous. Their meat counter is it's obscene. It's and if you like lavash, um, 20 feet of 50 different brands of lavash, pita bread, super cheap, tahini, super cheap, every kind of olive oil, a million kinds of grape leaves. Ouch. Anyway, I go there for the produce. I can get a shopping cart, like, overflowing, too heavy to push with produce from that place, and it costs $100, where my Gelson's is about $60 for just a brown paper bag with stuff in it. It's a bit of a... It's a bit of a scandal down there. If you're not in Los Angeles, I don't know what to tell you. I can't give you tips on cheap supermarkets anywhere but here. All right, a couple more minutes. I'm going to leave this for a second, and I'll let them dry out. And I'll be back. All right. I'm starting to look a little bit dried up. Give you a peek at what these look like. All yeah, right. That seems good to me. I'm going to put them in a bowl. And in this same pan, I'm going to add a little bit more oil. Woo-wee! Those red peppers in there are crazy. They're getting in my throat. All right, I'm going to go lighter with this. Just chew, don't need so much. That's about a tablespoon. Before I used an easily, too. Maybe that's too much. Maybe that's too fatty for you. Now I'm going to add this beautiful plate of slight, half an onion sliced up and half of one and a half bell peppers. I used a half of three different colors. So there's one half plus one half yellow plus one half of green and the rest of the onions. You don't have to use different colors. Just looks pretty. So we're gonna saute these until they get soft. All right. This will take a few minutes, so I'm not going to make you watch me do this. Hold on. Listen to the snoring. Oh, it's too loud. Terry's snoring in the background. He's right over there in the corner on his dog bed. I have an app on my phone called sleep cycle and is a new feature on it that records snoring. I can now tell you for sure that I do not snore, but boy do my dog snore. Well, Dexter's a French Bulldog, he's an 11 year old French Bulldog and Terry's probably, he's a foster, he's a pug and he's probably about, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, maybe, I don't know, five, I don't know how old he is. He's had a tough go of it, he's very hand shy and he's had clearly been abused. Anyway, the two of those guys get into a snoring face off during the night and I now have audio record of it. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I put a lid on this about, well, right away after we last saw each other to hasten the softening of the peppers without making them brown for it. I don't want them to be browned and I want them to be still colorful. The onions are a bit brown. I'll show you. So I think they're ready. I'm also going to put these in a bowl with the, put them just in the bowl with the Actually, I'm not going to put them in the bowl with the meat because I don't want the meat to get steamed, so hold on. Well. This pan's a little worse for wear, but I'm going to leave it be. I think use the same pan yet again with yet more oil. That's unfortunate, but I'm going for it. Actually, yeah, just a tiny bit though, like a teaspoon. Mm. All right. Now I'm going to add one third of a cup of soy sauce. Now here, this dish can get salty on you. If you use low sodium soy sauce or tamari or amino acids, liquid aminos or whatever the hell you're using, try to go as like low sodium as possible. I'm going to use a tablespoon of dark soy sauce. If you don't have this, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to have it. Just add some, if I could open it, it would be awesome. 
Um, it adds some dark, rich color. I'm going to add about a tablespoon. Beep. Beep. Like those sound effects I make? Absolutely free. Free for you guys. I wonder if I do that when I'm cooking by myself. I, who knows? Okay, I'm going to put in a teaspoon of just black pepper. And then I'm going to put in a tablespoon. I did that already. I'm going to put, oh, I know. I'm going to put a tablespoon of ginger. You can use. Yeah, no. Don't adjust your computer or your phone or your TV. There's no sound in that. The sound, my batteries died in my <laughs> mic. So I, I'm just going to have to make the sauce again. I want you guys to see the fresh hell I live in. I'm served up some some technical sabotage every time so this time it was the sound just batteries dying so i have a new pan i'm going to make the sauce i have to prove the completed dish here um so i'm not going to be able to put the meat and the peppers in it in front of you anymore because i have no sound for that i guess i can show it to you and do voiceover but i'm just going to make the sauce fresh again so hold on one sec i'm also going to add a tablespoon of ginger well, my stuff is in the sink because I've been through this once already. A tablespoon of ginger. I said it before, I'll say it again. I love this jarred mint stuff because it's just easy. Fresh ginger can go bad before you use it, but I hear wrapping it in foil will prevent that. It'll at least extend the life of your fresh ginger. But who wants to peel it and all those nooks and crannies? Those nooks and crannies and then the grating, it's just a pain in the ass. Just buy yourself some already crushed up stuff. I'm going to also add, this is a vegetarian or vegan mushroom flavored sauce. You can use something like this or an oyster sauce. Most oyster sauces don't have anything oyster in them and they're vegan. So just about a tablespoon of that. And I need six cloves of crushed garlic, which I no longer have because they're in that pan over there. So let me get that. I'll be right back. Six moxie. Six, oops, cloves of crushed garlic from my favorite little garlic press that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. Let me show you how it works. You just put the garlic on top there. You smush it. comes in the little drawer. comes right out. Then these parts come apart really easily to clean. There's more garlic on there, like that. And this crusher thing comes out of the top, like this. Always has more garlic on it, like that. And that's it. Goes in the dishwasher. It's great. Love it. Let's stir this around a little bit. Okay. I'm going to add, this comes together pretty fast. I'm going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar. I just eyeball stuff. I've been doing this for a while. So there's one. Call that one. Call that two. If you're not comfortable eyeballing stuff, that's cool. But the more you cook, the more you just learn to do it by in intuition, really. Okay, that was two tablespoons of brown sugar. I also need a tablespoon of rice vinegar and a tablespoon of, oh, that's it, really. I don't know, a tablespoon of rice vinegar and some black pepper. So here's the rice vinegar. I'm going to go with a tablespoon of that. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of black pepper. Or a teaspoon. Your call. Depending on your, your I guess, your penchant here or two for those flavors. Now, in the other pan, because it was so hot, it had so much cornstarch in the bottom of it going on because it was the residue from the beef, it thickened almost immediately. This will thicken too, the brown sugar and the soy sauce will thicken, but if you're in a hurry or if for some reason it doesn't thicken or you put too much soy sauce in or whatever the hell happened that went wrong, who knows. Everything goes wrong around here. Why shouldn't it go wrong at your house? Uh, I have some more, oh, I have a ton of cornstarch in the bottom of this thing, so I didn't use it in the last batch of sauce. I didn't need to. I'm going to add, eh, let's call that a tablespoon. And I'm going to whisk that in. Easy for me to say, I don't longer have a whisk. Where's my whisk? I'm not here. I have to get a new whisk. Excuse me. 
could I be a bigger dork? All right. I'll get rid of this whisk and go back to my spatula. You can't hear it, but Terry's snoring in the background as per usual. As he is wont to do. Wow, this is thick and cool looking. I'll give you a peek at it. See how inky that is? And that's it, that's done. Now, if I hadn't already done it once, I would be adding the pepper, the bell peppers and the onion to this, and then I would stir in the meat or the faux beef, the garden beefless tips, whatever fake beef you're using. Um, and that's it. Then you just serve this with some rice, beautiful over some rice, bust out the chopsticks until you get too frustrated and use a fork. Um, yeah, um, 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 that's it. <laughs> I apologize for the crazy edit in the middle there and change of pans, etc. But, what are you going to do? Shit happens. And my name is Christine Elise. This is delightful, delicious, de lovely. I'm going to put my Twitter handle and my Instagram um, handle, <laughs> my, my CB handle while I'm at it, uh, down here up there somewhere. Um, so you guys can, if you, if you are interested, follow me elsewhere too. I post things other than food there. I post dog stuff, I post stuff from my career, post pictures of me from my youth, my, my well-spent youth as a very extreme punk rock kid, uh, my time on 902 and 0, my time I spent with Chucky, things like that. Other sets I've been on, people I've worked with, and other stuff I just find interesting. Often some things are political too. So there you have it. That's my Chinese, spicy Chinese, green pepper beef and uh, yeah so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed please subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time thanks bye